Now at the top of this video, I want to make two things extremely, extremely crystal clear. I'm an agnostic atheist. I reserve the right that I could be proven wrong that there is a God, but I would be more in line to be a deist if God were proven to be real, uh, because I don't believe that a God actively does anything in this universe. I can believe in a God starting things up and then stepping back, because nothing, nothing makes sense to the idea that a crafting or a creator uh, seem to make things here. But again, I reserve the right to be wrong. I'm not one of these science or GTFO type of people in most respects. But being that I am that, uh, I am not an anti-theist. I have plenty of theist friends who live by their book, live by their word, live by their stuff. They're honorable people. They know I don't believe, and they don't try to push it on me or call myself or my son any undue names, like that he's a bastard child because he was born to uh, a father who was not married to the mother at the time, which if anybody knew my ex, they would understand that it was good that we were not married. I digress. But I, I don't want to dismantle your churches. I don't want to burn your books. I don't want to destroy your establishments. I don't agree with the most militant and zealot of you. And when, like with today's story, you decide to step over the bounds that you have of religious freedom and otherwise, you and I are going to tussle. Point number two to keep in mind. Prayer is allowed in schools. You can bring a Bible to school. You can pray to whomever you feel is appropriate in school. You cannot, however, mandate that everybody regardless of their religion or religious status, pray to your chosen God. That's it. There is nothing banning Bible clubs in schools. There is nothing banning Bibles in schools. There is nothing banning religious t-shirts, paraphernalia, the, and the like. Now, granted, sometimes people, if something feels a little too pro-religious, they might go after it. Not that I'm one of these types of people. Uh, but in general, you are allowed to pray to whomever you want, bring whatever holy book you want, and read it. In fact, during my time in school in, in Santa Clara, California, where I used to live, uh, we had, not only did we have a Bible club, but they were allowed to read their Bible during um, the mandatory reading period that Bill Clinton, who was our president at the time, had instituted. Nobody restricted them. They didn't push their beliefs on us in, in general, though if they did presentations, some of them were a bit pro-life for religious reasons. But I digress. I just heard it, moved on. We didn't do major debates. We didn't make anything of it. We didn't try to push God out of our school. We just didn't force everybody of different faiths to pray to our chosen God. So that's why this story confounds me. It doesn't just confound me, it makes me mad. Schools may require recitation, or recitation of the Lord's Prayer under Indiana Bill. State Senator of Indiana introduced a bill on Thursday that would give public school districts the authority, the authority, to mandate daily recit, rice, uh, 
recitation of the Lord's Prayer in public classrooms. Now, if you believe this is a Christian nation, then please, for me, in the comment section below, tell me which version of Christianity is this nation. Is it Presbyterian? Is it Lutheran? Is it Baptist? Is it uh, Pentecostal? Is it Church of England? I doubt that last one, but hey, I would be I wouldn't be very surprised at that. Uh, is it Puritan? I think I already mentioned that. I could go on and on. Is it Jehovah's Witness version of Christianity? You know, the ones who have the true identity, uh, the the true interpretations of the Bible and of God. Because you may think that every one of those Christian sects prays to the exact same God, and in most cases, you could not be more wrong. So, who's, who's, who's Lord's Prayer? Who's resuscitations? And if your main issue is that it must be a Christian prayer, um, Then which form of of Christianity? Because remember, some of them have different recitation recitations of the Lord's Prayer for different events. Um, I don't I don't understand how this could fly. I don't, but please tell me which version of Christianity is this nation? I really really honestly want to know that. The bill introduced on the first day of the new legislative uh, session by Republican Senator Dennis Krause outlined Krause's reasonings for requiring school prayer. Quote, in order that each student recognize the importance of spiritual development in establishing character and becoming a good citizen, the governing body of a school, corpor uh, school corporation or the equivalent authority or a charter school may require the rec recitation or recitation of the Lord's Prayer at the beginning of each school day. The prayer may be recited by a teacher, a student, or the class of students. Okay, I, I, I got to stop it right here. No, this is why people like myself have problems when you decide to overstep your boundaries. When you decide what you want to believe and what you want your kids to believe, fine, I have no problems with that. You have your own Christian establishments or religious establishments where they can pray however they want, can teach whatever lessons they want, and honestly, I'm not here to dismantle those schools either. But with public schools? No, it's not so much entirely that it's public schools. It's this part right here. That each student recognize the importance of spiritual development in, in establishing character and becoming a good citizen. Really? Why does this sound like only through religion or only through God can a person be moral? That a person cannot have an internal moral compass that can uh, point them in the right directions. That people can't be ingrained good people or ingrained bad people. That environment, genetics, no, none of that has anything to do with this. It's spirituality or it's nothing. Prove it. That, prove it. Prove that I am not a moral person. I have no religion. I have no God. I am a single dad who works very hard to take care of my son and is working very hard with a single mom to uh, establish a, a very strong, firm, and uh, very moralistic family. Um, I've never killed anybody. I have stolen in the past, and I paid the price for it and never did it again. Um, I could go on and on about my accomplishments as a person on my own. And it's I'm not just saying me. What about all the atheists who do good things? Oh, is it that they've had religion in their life at some point and somehow that built character? Or no, no, that's right. 
they secretly know there is a God and or religion. They're just really mad at God and they just want to keep on sinning or all the other things there. I'm sorry, but no, this is a you can only be a good person or a moral person if you have religion. This is the idea that atheists are not supposed to and are supposed to be opposed on every level from holding any kind of major public office because once they get in there, they're only going to do bad things because atheists can only be bad people. Just like theists can only be good people. Yeah, because all of those church uh, child molestation cases, all of those faith healing, stealing away the life savings of, of uh, kindly old ladies uh, situations there, people who, who at the very least profess to have a deep understanding and love of God and yet they still commit these acts. Was their religion good in building their character, good in building their uh, how did you put it? Good in building their ability to become a good citizen? That Are you trying to honestly suggest via this bill that non-religious people cannot and will not ever be good people? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it, and I'd be willing to consider your bill. Consider. Because, again, you're stamping on everybody else's religious freedom while complaining that your freedom of religion is being trampled on. What's good for the goose is not good for the gander in your case because you don't want equality. You want exceptionalism. And you want to framework it in as the end-all, be-all to the moral problem going on in this country. That it couldn't be a shift in our culture, it couldn't be a shift in our consciousness, or, uh, or whatever you want to claim it to be. It's that we've stepped away from your God. I'm sorry. This, this doesn't work. This cannot work. And I'd like to see you try to, to, to sell me on how this works.